Hi everyone, Dr. Jay Mehta here from Mumbai. In this video, we are going to discuss about gender reassignment surgery. The commonest question which people ask is that is it possible and is it a very painful procedure? This is a short video, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of the entire situation. The first thing to important is that this is managed by a huge multidisciplinary team. All right, it involves a lot of doctors in doing a particular reassignment. That means if we are looking at a transgender and if the transgender is a male, it basically involves conversion from female to male. Likewise, if somebody is a transgender female, it involves a conversion from a male into a female. Now, just doing this entire thing is going to require a lot of effort by a lot of doctors and it's going to require a lot of time. Right? It is not something that you come in today and you are done with it tomorrow. It's a very long process to get the desired result. It is also very important to understand that most of the times this entire procedure is based on what the opposite person or what the patient is expecting out of treatment. There are a lot of people who just want a hormonal feedback. It's very easy for them, right? We can have an endocrinological opinion along with a reproductive endocrinology opinion and we can have the entire set of hormones administered. This hormonal process is a long process. It normally takes approximately one to two years, but we normally like to keep a window of three years for doing this because it takes its own sweet time. It requires a lot of monitoring to be done. There are some people who along with the hormonal changes also desire to have external genital changes. That means physical changes. Now it is the physical changes where the surgical team actually comes into play. The surgical team is commonly going to involve a gynecologist, it's going to involve a urologist and it is going to involve a plastic surgeon. These three are the core team members of your surgical team. So the first thing, is it possible? Yes, 100% it is possible as long as you have a psychiatric clearance with you. That means if you are dead sure that you want to do this, then that's where it's 100% possible, right? But that's a phase. It takes some time for the patient to decide do they want to opt in or opt out of that. Now, the question, this is the most common question. Is it a very painful procedure? Now, remember, almost all these procedures which you are going to undergo are surgical procedures and all surgical procedures are done under anesthesia. There are some parts of the surgical procedures which are really not very painful. So, if you look at the typical surgeries which are going to be involved in a transgender male that means when somebody wants to get converted from female to male it's going to involve something called as a bilateral mastectomy that means excision of both the breasts now that is not a very painful procedure it's also going to involve something called as hysterectomy that means removal of the uterus that is not a very painful procedure it is done with laparoscopic surgery what is slightly painful is the penile prosthesis part so when somebody really opts in for penile prosthesis now, that is a later stage of the surgery. The first stages of surgery are mastectomy and hysterectomy. The penile process could be slightly painful because it involves creation of pouches and creation of the urethra. So, that could be slightly painful. But obviously, these are procedures, as I said, which are managed by a lot of doctors. So, that is something which as patients, if you are sure about doing it, you should not be so much worried about it. Likewise, if you look at the procedures which are going to be involved in the conversion for male to female, right, when somebody is a transgender female, what is important for people to understand is that the painful procedure out there is the construction of a neo-vagina. That's one of the last steps. That's a long surgery. It involves something called a sigmoid vaginoplasty. We have some videos of this on YouTube and probably some of you can check it. But that's a little long drawn procedure. All right. And that could be a little painful procedure as a part of that procedure. But apart from that, the rest of the management, all right, this entire accomplishment from one end to the other could take most of the people at least five to six years. All right. Right from the administration of the first shot of the hormone, it takes that much time. So that's the window which somebody has to be mentally ready for to get the optimal outcome. Okay, suboptimal outcomes are not something which we are worried about, but if you are wanting for optimal outcomes, then that is your time frame. So obviously it is possible, surgical procedures can be a little painful, but all of them are almost managed very nicely by your multidisciplinary team. We are going to have much more videos on this regarding specific procedures. Any further questions you can post in the comments box. Me or one of my team members will try to get back to you. Thank you so much.